Good morning. I'm Pastor Pete, and I have your word for the day. The way God has rescued his people from captivity has been exciting and dramatic. That continues with today's reading as we see how God led his people out of Egypt and into the promised land. In a time before compasses, GPS, and Google Maps, the Israelites were faced with a challenge of navigating their way across the desert. This would have been a challenge, especially considering the enemy territories that lay ahead of them. But Exodus 13, 17 through 22, explains how God led them out of Egypt. Here's a summary. First, God chose their path. Rather than going into the enemy territory of the Philistines and facing war, God took them on a more scenic route. He took them through the wilderness and toward the Red Sea. This would put them in a different challenge, but they would not have to face war. The ESV study Bible says, before the Lord calls Israel to trust that he will fight through them, he will show them once again that he will fight for them. I like that, God fighting for them. Next, we see that God fulfilled the promise made 430 years ago. The Israelites had all kinds of luggage, goods, and supplies on this trip, but they also took the bones of Joseph with them. This reflects the promise that God made to Jacob and Joseph, that he would lead the Israelites back to the promised land. Egypt would not be their home forever. Finally, God led them with clarity. God's leading was clearly seen. During the day, God led the Israelites by a pillar of cloud, and at night, he led them by a pillar of fire. This is a testimony of God's goodness. The Israelites were just learning to walk in faith and obedience. God makes it clear which way to go and that he is with them. You know, if you've ever been out in the wilderness, miles away from city lights, you know how dark it can get. God didn't leave them in the dark. He brought them light. So for us today, it is highly unlikely that God will lead us with a pillar of cloud or fire, but he does still lead us. He will lead us on our journey toward freedom. Some of the routes that he takes us on might be unexpected. Maybe he is training you for a future battle. Maybe he is showing you that he will fight for you because you are in a circumstance that you cannot see a way out of. Trust him, even when you're feeling hemmed in and trapped. God will fulfill his promises in scripture for you. Maybe one of the greatest promises comes from Philippians 1.6. It says, and I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Whichever path God has you on, if you're his child, through faith in Jesus, God is going to complete the work that he began in you. And don't forget, he is doing a good work. Now, at some points, it might not seem that good, but it is, hold on to that promise. Finally, just like God led the Israelites, he will lead you with clarity. God's word clearly tells us which way we should go and how we should live. If you're reading it, if you're following it, you are sure to be on the right path. God's people can also provide wise counsel for you. If you are listening to godly counsel, you're going to be on a good path. God also opens and closes doors. If you're looking, you will see a way ahead. Roadblocks might, be put, might put you on a different path, but God is doing the directing. And finally, God's spirit leads us. We need to carefully pray and listen and never forget that the spirit is there to give you direction. God's words, God's people, God's providence, and God's spirit all provide the clear leading that we need on our journey to freedom. I hope you were encouraged by today's passage to follow God's leading in your life. Have a blessed day.